Hello, this is Crofty Crofty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And between the episodes, I had too much heart, uh, heartbreak. Yeah, every plan, every single plan I made kind of sort of failed. Actually, not every single, but most of it. Uh, we cannot make the uh, Extreme Voltage... Uh, dynamo hatch because we can't make the tungs tungsten steel because we do not have the uh, plot line because uh, why we are stuck with plot line because this coils to cook tung tungsten steel we need better coils yeah yeah uh, so, it's a full chain. I will temporarily do something with high voltage dyna uh, dynamo hatches. Let's place them. Not like this. The last one always gives me problem. Why I, I'm not enabling the hover mode? Anyway, yeah. Multi-block is now ready. And if I do this. Voila, and yeah, it should be okay now. And also, I have one more thing with me. Fluid regulator. That's not a pump. That's something really interesting. That's we gonna limit our fluid intake with these guys yep and with that we actually export import okay you should be import okay why we are limiting our uh fluid intake Basically, these guys use rotors, and rotors has an optimal uh, energy uh, fluid consumption. Uh, as you can see in here, there's a really, really interesting math about it. I will probably add the math in the description, but basically, it's the amount of <laughs> uh it's uh, determines the amount of uh, optimal uh amount of energy they can produce why we are using that instead of the maximum amount that all you can use uh it's because of uh, efficiency yeah also one more thing i made normal turbines because I cannot make the large turbines. They require tungsten steel. I will probably upgrade the uh, turbines later when we have uh, access to better uh, tungsten steel, which is after Mars, and HSSE coils. So yeah, uh, that would be something that we can make. And, but in the meantime, this uh, fella is ready. Now, what we're gonna need is providing power to this. And it's actually super simple, but I need, uh, as you can guess, one more thing. And also, you, you should be ready. And fluid, fluid supplier pipe. Thank you. We need one more, uh, one fluid supplier pipe. And the rest is just digging. Diggy, 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 dig. And pipes. I forget the pipes. And the pipes are connected. And what we also need to connect is. Yes, I used EV pump because it was already crafted and apparently there are some Endermen here. 
Yep. I think I need some light sources. Yep, I need light sources. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> with this! The bunny love So, uh, what else we are gonna need is... Torch. But other than that, uh, we are also gonna need... Transformers. Yep. And so with the Transformers, by the way, I need to... Automate the concrete. And uh, put concrete to everywhere. So yeah, that is also in our to-do list, uh, which is getting really, 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 really complicated. And also, let me just look at the optimal flow. Uh, it doesn't show yet. It will probably when uh, show it when it's ready. And let's do this. Now, we need to make it is as up step so this is going to output four amps of hv uh wait no th this is the basic one i need to upgrade that too i forget that and uh, luckily upgradation is super simple it just requires an hv circuit and yeah 4x gold cable and what the hell is that? Anyway. Okay. Our upgrades are ready. And we get an achievement for that. That's nice. That's actually quite nice. I'm always okay with the achievements. Anyway, let's place our new dynamos. The better dynamos. And then... Do some stuff. Our mod enabled, and you... Yeah. They are, by the way, the a buffer dynamo hatches produce 4 amps of uh, EU per tier. Now, what I also need is soft mallet. Yeah, step up. So yeah, they took H 4 amps of HP and turn it into 1 amp of EV. And with that, we just need to do some cabling. Okay, apparently it was literally the exact amount we needed. Uh, I'm leaving here it suspending like that because the battery buffer we are going to use is temporary. So, uh, in the future, it will be upgraded to something much, 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 much more powerful. And also, we are not going to cable around this guy much. <clears throat> Why? Because reasons, actually, come to think of it. Yeah. And I always do that and I hate it. That's why I kind of uh, starting to hate the adventure backpack a bit just a bit and let's put those guys i will temporarily take these guys and power something with it temporarily uh by the way why we are uh, moving it from here because we will add one more uh device here so yeah that's a thing now what we're gonna what we're also gonna need is filling this hole and take one more uh actually not one more few more things uh first we're gonna need some redstone second uh is well it was oak wood right yeah let's take 60 and redstone let's take 60. And our redstone circuitry. And these guys. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do some circuitry. And is it... Uh, I'm wondering, is this screwdriver gonna work with it? Yeah, it's gonna work. Yep, it's, it is working for it. 
Now, I don't need to make any, any other circuits, but I need to make... Uh, where was it? Where what did I put... Ah, okay, here. I think uh, I need to make strips. Yeah. And... Let's... No, no, not posts. Well, it's a bit hassle. And I think I did a bit much. So, uh, no problem. Let's just make these two and strips. Okay. Okay, I have a full inventory of unnecessary things. But with that, we can make... Let's see. Blackwood strips. Yes. And let's take... Eight for now? Actually, no, let's take 16. Uh, the circuitry will be ugly for now. But it's not a huge issue. Actually, I can put the circuitry upstairs. So, let's place those guys. First, we're gonna need an energy detector cover. And let's look at the inventory of energy detector cover. Yep, uh, it's a energy detector, and it should emit redstone signal according to the energy level that uh, it produces. And let's also do this. Okay, one here, and rest is here. And I will go upstairs. And with that, we should be... We should have a sound place for a redstone logic. Now, what we also need is it would it would count from uh, fifteen. So, uh, one circuit would be one, two, three. Actually, let's uh, create a redstone signal for now, so we can actually determine if actually. Uh, wait a second. I can have a full signal for now uh because with that with this guy i can't access ah okay inverted okay now we have a inverted signal so 13 15 13 should be okay and here should be uh, it would be a bit longer route Six, four. Actually, four would be nice point. So, what we're gonna need is one RS. Uh, yeah, one RS latch connected to here, not here, but here. And I need to orient this guy. Okay, this this in and. Yeah, and then uh, one guy here. Okay, it is higher than this. Okay, that should... Yeah, when the signal cuts out, yeah, it would be like this. But we need something else, one more thing. We need a repeater to disable the signal. Okay, I I don't think I needed a repeater. I did one anyway. But that's not the problem. Okay, what is going to do e here is basically like this. When this guy outputs a redstone signal, uh, it would be a uh, level. Uh, it would, uh, for example, uh, when it's... 8% full, I think it's going to push uh, 12 uh, or so. So yeah, I think it will trigger this and it will stop. And it will cut the redstone signal. The condition is redstone signal should be lower than 4 and higher than... Uh, sorry, 
uh, yeah, redstone signal should be lower than four for it to start. And when it got gets higher than 13, it will stop. So yeah, actually we can do that. Uh, we can do one more level. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. So, uh, no, I prefer this way. So that's the basic logic we are going with. And with that, we will just uh, start with our thingy-majiggy. And yep, that's the spot. And I will probably dig here. Yeah. And let's get let's get to the wiring. And I'm gonna need uh, more of those uh, things with wooden posts. So yeah. It will be fun. And I think what I need just five? Five or six. Okay, we put our uh, wires here. Now, what we're also gonna need is machine control covers. And it will be just like... Okay, I placed correctly this time. Machine control cover. Redstone on... Okay. Uh, let's look at your inventory and... We should have uh, enable with redstone, okay. And let's also enable safe mode. And enable redstone, enable with redstone. Okay, and now if I change this guy's configuration to not inverted, we should start seeing something. Yeah, they are working. They are working quite well. And what is the optimal flow? Six. So. And that should be the optimal flow now. And let's go six. Negative six. Okay. Uh, why you are... Okay, you are not flowing. Why? And... Uh, why you stopped working? Ah. Rest on signal stopped. Why? And our jetpack is low. Okay, uh, we need to... We need to configure this guy. It's this, I guess. So let's wait for it. Yeah, it's zero. It should be... Yeah, it should continue for a while. And uh, let me just get... It's one, two, zero. Okay, I will... I might need to reverse the flow. Yeah, I might need to reverse the flow. I will have to look at it. And in the meantime, we will just wait. Yeah, I need to rever reverse the flow. Uh, it's a simple solution. I just need to do this. Actually, wait a second. Do this. Okay. And do that. And... Okay. And that should be okay. After that, we will have something on our hands. Yep, uh, it's generating power. And if we look at here, batteries are starting to getting full. And after a while, it should stop using things. And if we come here, yep, the... Uh, the power usage is not that high, actually. Uh, the benzene usage is not that high. Uh, by the way, this is currently uh, generating three EV 
uh, yeah, generating three EV uh, generator worth of energy. So, and sort energy produ yeah, uh, production, yeah, uh, turbine running, and yeah, three EV generators worth of energy, and it uses around same benzene as a high voltage uh, turbine. So. It's actually highly efficient, and it is working. Now, what we're going to do is nothing at the moment. We will eventually connect this thing from here to here with platinum wires, but we do not have any platinum yet. I can make, I can make with basic uh, product, basic thingy, but I don't want to. I want all this, where was it, where is it? Yeah, all this platinum metallic powder to be processed in the right way. And this is our current gateway, uh, the current roadblock. So what we're going to do is bring some materials for the plat line. I will probably design things uh, off camera. And then we will continue the episode with a working plot line after that. And I just realized something. We cannot put those guys next to each other. We need to move one block behind. Yeah, I just realized that. I just realized that. Or we can make it diagonal. That actually works. That actually works. So we can put them diagonally. So yeah, that that solves it. The center would stay a center. The rest will be a bit diagonal. So, and they are they are stopped because, yep, this guy. This guy is around eighty percent. Yeah, and actually, come to think of it, I can do these two. Oh, by the way, why we are doing this? It's because... Let's uh, break these and... And do this. Okay, it's still... Yeah, more than that. And if I do this and this, and now put this, okay. Temporarily do that, and it will also stay uh, offline after that. By the way, why we are doing something like this? It's quite simple. Those guys uh, does not produce the entire amount of EU they produce instantly. They have a a bit of uh, cool uh, warming up uh, time. So in uh, in that time they are not fully efficient. They are wasteful. But if we are doing something like this, it, they will start working after they get more uh more than by the way actually we can do this and so 13 14 15 no 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 uh, this is okay okay uh if you do something like this they will work in a uh, range when they are uh when the energy uh, is more than around 80 90 percent uh they will stop uh, why they are stopping at that point? Because uh, they also produce a bit more energy after that. So it would be still wasteful. And when they are around 10, 20%, they start running again. So basically, they are, they are really good. So... What we're gonna need for plotline? Actually, we're gonna start with a basic plotline. So let's uh, look at the roadmap we are gonna need. 
First, we're gonna need Aquaregia. And the thing is, this will be fully renewed. So yeah, uh, Nitrogen Dioxide and uh, Aquaregia is Diluted Sulfuric Acid and Nitric Acid. Nitric Acid is nitro Nitrogen Dioxide with water. Water is free. Aquaregia, come here. Uh, you will give us platinum concentrate and uh, with platinum concentrate and ammonium chloride. Uh, we get palladium enriched ammonia, nitrogen dioxide, and uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, we get both of those, we will get back. And we also get platinum salt dust and enriched platinum dust. Uh, this is uh, re no, sorry, replicated platinum dust. Replicated platinum dust uh, combined with calcium and give us platinum dust and calcium chloride. And platinum dust is just this. And then we get calcium uh, chloride uh, reprocessed and we get chlorine and calcium. Now, what? The ammonium is the one left. So, with, for that, we just need to process this guy, I guess. Yeah, uh, formic acid. Yeah, it would be a bit issue. Uh, formic acid, ethylene water. Formic acid is uh, sodium formulate and sulfuric acid. And sodium for fluoride, sodium hydroxide, and carbon monoxide, pl palladium dust. It would be a bit problem. We get ammonia back and ethylene water. Yeah, that's a bit uh, hassle for this operation. Palladium metal powder, ammonia, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, we might need some uh, ammonium, uh, um ammonium input for the system. Other than that, that should be doable. And centrifuge, polydium chloride, okay. Large chemical, it's either centrifuge or large chemical reactor. That's interesting, by the way. Yeah, and uh, LCR is much, 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 much more easier. So I will plan everything and we will build Probably off camera, and then I will explain everything, and then we will finish the episode, and we will get bunch of platinum next episode, and with that we will finally move the cable, uh, turn our cables, cable network in a much more more better position, and. Uh, the best cable we can make for that voltage is platinum wire. Uh, it carries two amps of IV, which will be enough for us. So we don't need... Actually, we might make 2x platinum cable, or we make 1x. Either will work. Okay, and as you can see, there is a plot line, a basic plot line. A few things missing. I am out of my chrome, so I didn't finish this uh, blast furnace. I didn't put the... Well, uh, I didn't put any mechanism to turn small, pile, uh, small dust to normal dust. And I didn't connect it to the sifter yet. I will probably do... Uh, because the, the sifter is currently using some strange stuff. But other than that, it is working. Um, whoops, I dropped the pickaxe. I temporarily stole the power from I, our titanium uh, production because we are not using it at the moment. And yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, I also think about a different approach. Uh, just taking batteries from the uh, there with our logistics pipes network and bring batteries here and then recharge the empty ones there etc etc it was 
it sounded fun, but yeah, uh, it's kind of hassle. But I can do that actually. Come to think of it, it's actually a really nice approach. I know. Why didn't I think of it before? Yeah, I might do it for a while uh, before we have a really nice uh, source of thingy magicies. And yeah, platinum metallic powder comes. Okay, let's uh, summarize the process. First step is this machine, and it's almost done. Okay, uh, we need to manually fill this, by the way. Uh, this is the only non-automated part yet. Uh, the thing is, this is this makes ammonium chloride. Why it's not automated? Because I do not have any automated way of making neither ammonium or chloride, uh, hydrochloric acid. But uh, we will. We will, uh, after getting some platinum, uh, hydrochloric acid, and ammonia. And it's done this LCR, it's super fast by the way, uh, it's not, it's really, really fast. And then, it goes directly there. Output hatch is here, and input hatch is here. If they are connected like this, they just transfer the items between each other. And then... Let's go here. This guy makes nitric acid. Uh, the only t two things it gets from outside is water and oxygen. Uh, there's one more thing, diluted sulfur, uh, no, nitri nitrogen dioxide, and it's fully renewed from this process. This process requires this process, platinum concentrate. It gets aquaregia. And platinum dust, and uh, not platinum dust, uh, the platinum metal, yeah, platinum metallic powder dust, and turns them into, let me just see here, yeah, platinum concentrate. And platinum concentrate, then mixed with ammonium chloride, and turns into this bunch of stuff. And uh, palladium enriched ammonia comes here. And actually, come to think of it, can I get back the whole ammonia? Yeah, but it's a huge uh, step up. So I will just temporarily make ammonia myself. And actually, we have a better way of doing ammonia with distillation towers, and we will do that after uh, we finish our energy. Anyway, this produces these guys and these guys. I will uh, make the compactors. After making compactors, it will send the platinum dusts. These guys. Let's show you. Like this. And if I do that... And if we take these guys here, it will pull eventually, yeah. And it instantly do uh, does the recipe and we get platinum and uh, calcium chloride. Calcium chloride will return to here. I just need to make another pipe and another uh, extractor module. And voila, the calcium itself is renewed. And yeah, this is the entire process. And these guys will be, uh, will be sent into the blast furnace. And actually, I can take those and do one more batch. So yes, we will be producing uh, a lot of platinum like this. And with that method, we will actually using the less... Uh, yeah. Less plat uh, these guys per platinum itself, and it will be much, much, much more uh, beneficial. I just need to count how much. Uh, yeah, I need to. I don't know the <laughs> amount, and 
Platinum Salt Dust is getting full. Let's turn them into some stuff. And that, yeah, this is our network. Oh, by the way, one more thing. As you can see, there are two different networks here, and they are not connected. We use uh, this connection upgrade for them. And with those con this connection upgrade, we can just uh, disconnect two different uh, thingy magigies. And what else were we going to do? Yeah, Platinum Salt. It goes into the sifter and it turns into refined Platinum Salt. And then after we uh, blasted them, blast them, they will turn into refined Platinum Dust. So yes, that's the entire process that we have here. And let's put it in the sifter for now. And yeah, it will turn into a lot of platinum. Refined platinum salt dust. Yeah, they will be uh, done this. So we just need to finish this guy and packagers. That's it. After that, the system is ready and also a source of ammonia. Yeah, that too. Anyway. This is Crafty Crafty, and have a nice day.